What's up, everybody? You already know who this is. This is your boy. Let me fix the lens. Let me fix the lens. Ah, there it is. This is your boy, Raphael Gordon. If you don't know who I am, I am a CEO of a global brand called Ra Gore. I'm also an award winning entrepreneur, speaker, and author. But first and foremost, I would like to say thank you so much to all my supporters, all my followers, all my fans, and all those who purchased my new book, Skyscraper. Listen, I've been getting some great reviews from you guys. I've, I've read a lot of them on um, Amazon and on Barnes and Nobles. I read a lot that's been through my emails and that's been forwarded to me through uh, our database. So thank you so much for all your support. I, I truly couldn't be doing a lot of these different things without you and your support. So I'm an entrepreneur, so you, you love the product, you love the service, and, I, and I'm very appreciative of that. So always that I'm going to keep working hard to give you the best um, tools to help build the, uh, your, your foundation, make it stronger, and also show you different ways. And using my life as an example of how to live your life to the fullest. So again, thank you so much. So I just wanted to read a, just a, a small piece from the book so you can understand some of the parts of what I'm going to go into with the four seasons. And here's uh, just a small snippet from the book. Uh, we all have to deal with the seasons as they change over. Um, as a person who is developing their light within, you must be excited about all the seasons, not just one, not just your favorite. You must be willing to accept what will die in the winters as well as what will be born in the spring. You must be willing to be, be the child who gets excited to play in the, in the snow rather than the adult who complains about the snowstorm. Growth exists in all seasons. As a tree of life, that's you and I, uh, you have to be aware of the seasons. Your very existence depends upon it. When you are not able to recognize the shift of weather in your life, uh, you, will, you, you, are, you are leaving yourself vulnerable and uh, pretty much open to be beaten down by the storms and the winds um, of force. So that's a part of your seasons. So I just want you to be aware, and that's again, it's an inventory check yourself in regards to uh, what's to come. So here are the four seasons, and, and when I give you these seasons, you can also think about where you are in your life uh, when it comes to these seasons, and knowing um, what you may need to prepare yourself for, or what you may, may need to uh, focus on to get through the storms, so that you can be able to see the, the season of, of celebration, which you'll find out in a second. The season of autumn, like that's the first season I'm gonna go into, and uh, this is the season of, of transitioning. Um, this is the season where it's preparing you uh, for the winters. So it's, it's preparing you from to go from your summer your summer season into your winter season. So it's the, it's the in-between season. And usually in this season, um, you notice that things start to shift. You notice that the weather is getting cooler. Uh, you notice that the, the nights are starting to get uh, come a little quicker than, than normal. Um, you'll notice that the leaves on the, um, on the trees are actually changing color. So again, in, in, the, in the season of autumn, um, this is the season of transitioning. It's, it's pretty much the preparation stage uh, for what's to come and to prepare you for the lessons as well as the trials and tribulations which you're gonna be able to experience, which you will experience in your winter season. The next season is the season of winters. Now, this is the season of trial and tribulations. In our winter season is where we get the most, the hardest lessons, we go through the toughest journeys in the season of winters. This is where everything that we've we accumulated through the other three seasons is tested and then let, and let us know what we actually needed and what we didn't. It is also the season that lets you know who will survive and who will not for the following season. Now in, our, in, your, um, in the winter seasons, um, it's the coldest, um, it also the, has the longest nights, um, it's also the, where the attitudes are always at its lowest. Um, when it comes to positivity um, because of the fact that it's, it's brutal. Just like any winters uh, of the season, um, you notice that everything is frozen, no one wants to go outside, it's always storms maybe happening, brewing, and it's just never a good time. You always gotta layer up with, layer up with clothing so that you can be able to bear, uh, go through the, the coldness and you can bear it, you can bear it. Um, so in your, in your season of winters, you must be aware that it's a tough journey. And if you're in that season right now, you must be aware that um, you gotta stay strong. Now, the reason why most people who do not um, uh, make it through their season of winters is because they did not, they lacked the preparation in their autumn season. And so they, they, they were, um, there were things, there were signs, there were things that was given to them that they did not uh, take heed to, they did not, uh, received the lessons and the, and the wisdom that was given to them. They didn't want to accept it. They wanted to embrace it. And because of that, they failed. Um, and so because they failed in the, season, in the season of winters, they won't be able to enjoy the next season, which will be the season of spring. All right, guys, so now we're to the season of spring. The spring season is the season of rebirth, rejuvenation, renewal, 
reborn. It's the season of uh, replenish. This is also the season that is like the trophy for winning a game. It's the season of saying, of, it's, it's like a sign signature saying that you have accomplished and you have made it through the toughest journey within the season of within your life. And because of that, we will let you see, or the universe or God will let you see um, how, how beautiful the things will, will flourish for you um, within the season. When you are in your spring season, um, you automatically know that you have completed a task, uh, that you have achieved a goal, that the storm has passed. It is, it is, it is the season of calmness, and it's the, one of those seasons that brings peace. It brings joy, and you hear these particular sounds. Like I love when you hear like the bees are buzzing, children playing outside, kids are running outside from school. Um, so it's those seasons of laughter, the seasons of of continuous uh, positive energy that's 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 new. This thing I truly love the season of summer. I think everyone does, but for me it's like a big thing because it is a season of celebration. It is where uh, you have accomplished and went through all these seasons. You've seen the transformation. You've been through trials and tribulations. You have uh, even and made it out so this is the season where you you as you know in the summertime people go through all these different foreign lands to travel uh, they make they see they make more time to see family and friends um, people go to the pools to the, to the beaches and things like that so in your life your season of uh, summer is your season of celebration is your season of enjoying the fruits of your labor it's enjoying your blessings it's enjoying the um, the laughter that which people have have been uh, around you are doing it's, it's enjoying just the aspect of being alive and being thankful that the fact that you did not fall uh, or stumble to the point where you didn't want to get back up in the season of spring. It is also recognizing that you didn't freeze on your goals. You did not um, let your dreams and let, and let uh, relationships that you truly love uh, get diminished in the season of winters. It is also recognizing that you have um, embraced and you were preparing yourself in the season of, season of autumn. And so because of all those three seasons in which you went through and you recognize and, and you received the lessons that you receive the lessons and you are thankful for it, it allows you to now enjoy and, and God and the universe allows you to sit here and have a season of summer. And so these four seasons is something that I want you to recognize and always kind of inventory check yourself about to see what season you're in and see and see like, well, am I in the winter season today or am I in the, in the season of spring, fall or summer? And by knowing that um, it, it, you can prepare yourself or, or get yourself back into the rhythm of things so that you know and, and be aware of what you need to change and what you need to kind of get yourself together for. All right. So there's your four seasons, uh, season of autumn winter, spring, and summer. Uh, so be aware, inventory check yourself and see what season that you're in today. Um, and be thankful for whatever season that you're in. And always be aware that you're alive and you be thankful for that because many, many people did not make it uh, through one of those seasons, but you did and you're recognizing it now and also watching this video to make sure that you know and to embrace every season that you have in your life. So again, I'm gonna be posting up different videos uh, for the Skyscraper series. And this is a part of uh, a piece that was in my book called The Four Seasons. Um, um, and as well as the tree of life. So I hope I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little video clip of insight. I'll leave you guys with love and leaving you guys with a lot of light. And I'm signing off, Raphael Gordon. I'm just loving this, y'all. I'm just like, I'm, in, I'm, I'm loving this, you hear me? I'm loving this! Oh.